Well, welcome to Surprise Saturday. Here we are. This is Cooking with Kay, uh, and I'm not really sure why he's here. I don't either. <laughs> I don't know why he's here. But if you know me at all, you know that I like to cook. I actually love to cook. I love to bake. Um, I cook for our family every Monday night. There are 16 of us with all the grandkids, too. And I love to cook, and normally I cook um, southern food. That's how, where I grew up in Alabama, so I like to cook all kinds of southern food with a lot of butter. But today, I chose something different. Because of this show, and we're limited with time, uh, I chose a cookie. And I don't bake cookies very often. I'm a pie and cake kind of girl. And what's your favorite? Do you uh, like pies? Pies. Everything. Actually, we eat everything. Um, <laughs> <laughs> we can't eat. We're supposed to be intermittent fasting. And it's, not it's getting shorter it's not and shorter. Working. We just eat. Um, we get really hungry at 8 o'clock. We're supposed to be fasting. Anyway, so these cookies have a story. So most everything I bake has a story. Um, it, some kind of something that makes me happy. And this is um, usually they're my mom's recipes. But this one is different. So was it like 10 years ago? No. Um, do you want to talk? No, go ahead. <laughs> you, you go right ahead. This is kind of like church. You talk. And I never get to say anything. That's right. That's so this right. is so my chance. Time. Okay. So about 10 years ago, when the boys, before they got married, they were uh, adult children, but they weren't married yet. And we took a trip to New York City for, I don't know, maybe spring break or something. And um, Dustin or Brandon, one of them, because they're, they're foodies, they Googled. And did we have Google then? No. Yeah, we did. Did we? I don't know. But anyway, they found out that there was a bakery called Levin Bakery in the Upper West Side of New York City. Now, you may have heard it pronounced another way, and everybody tells me it's either Levon or Levain, but I actually Googled yesterday and found the owners of the bakery, and they said it's Levin Bakery, Upper West Side, New York City. So we Googled it. Um, Brandon is a connoisseur of chocolate chip cookies. It's his favorite thing. And so we went there, we stood in a line outside this door in this little bitty bakery and stood there for a long time waiting for our cookies. And we really liked them. And um, we went back more than once and we took cookies with us. So they're not just, they're not just cookies like slice and bake from your fridge. Like these are from scratch and they're really good. So um, Brandon got married eight years ago, seven. Anyway, for his rehearsal dinner, we were at a hotel and they allowed us to bring in our own dessert. And he asked for cookies from LeVan Bakery. So I got online and checked out, and they're $4 a cookie, which would have been almost $50 a dozen. I needed at least 10 dozen, plus shipping. It was almost $700 for these cookies, and I thought, I can find a recipe. So I searched and searched and found a copycat recipe online, and I tried several and came up with the very best one. And so um, we love those cookies so much. I made 12 dozen for his wedding um, rehearsal dinner, and it was a labor of love. And every time anybody in our family goes back, that's what they do. So you may notice um, also that we have on Maui aprons because two of our favorite places to visit in the U.S. Um, is New York City and Maui. And um, so we have a little bit of um, both of that with us. And it's kind of it's ironic or it's sad that tomorrow Dustin and Mandy and their family were supposed to be leaving for a family trip to New York City and of course that's canceled. So in honor of all the New Yorkers and because we're praying for you and our Maui family and everybody else, we're going to make all right, here we go. copycat chocolate chip cookies from LeVan Bakery. Now, let, me, let me just set this right, this straight real quick. That, uh, um, you know, Kay's very well known for baking and her Southern cooking. And you know, we've all heard of ghost writers. I am the ghost chef. You and so everything that comes out of this kitchen, uh, it really is my creativity, no. my expertise. No, I want to tell you right now, he doesn't tell the truth and he cheats at card games. So you can't believe what he says. He's not, what he is good at is cleaning the kitchen. So uh, right, this is my assistant, okay. Galen, right. and he's going to hand me these, um, these ingredients. So I try to make it quicker. I've already pre-measured ingredients and we're ready to go. And um, hopefully this will all work like it's supposed to. I already forgot something. Can you get the butter out of the fridge? Sure. It's already cut up. It's right there. You can't miss it. Don't let them see my fridge inside. You know, because we're on quarantine groceries. It's full. Uh, okay. I feel like Rachel Ray. Is that the lady that does this online? Or, okay. Ah! You're supposed to do it. See, this is what I don't like, Marion. I was telling you. Okay. Okay. Butter. And you cube it up um, by the tablespoon. And it's already cubed and it's supposed to be cold, so that's very important. A dishwasher, please. Okay, three-fourths cup light brown sugar. Actually, I'm going to cream the um, butter real quick and get it creamed. So 
I know y'all are all so excited and you're waiting with bated breath at what I'm doing. So I bought this for myself for Christmas. This was a Christmas gift to me and I got the bigger five quart one and I feel very professional with this stainless steel KitchenAid. So the butter's um, gonna get creamed up if it doesn't flick all over the house. What do you think? Is that amazing? It. It's, it's doing it. It's not amazing. there, but it's doing it. See, it's creaming the butter. I can't get oh. because it's got to do. What, can you read the directions? I got to place the butter in the bowl and turn the mixer on. That's what I did. Okay, I'm going to add the sugars. I'm going to turn it off for a second so that the sugar doesn't. Um, there, that's brown sugar. And this is just white sugar. And it goes in there. Uh, and then I'm going to. Add those, and I'm going to beat that till it's smooth. Ah! Sorry. <laughs> I cracked my own self up. Uh, we're going to need some more brown sugar. All right. Honey, you're going to need to hurry. We're on uh, video. Okay, come back and talk to the people, and I'll find it. I have to have the brown sugar in there. Hi. It's in a Ziploc bag where the sugar is. Anyway, that's powdered sugar. He got powdered sugar. I said brown sugar. Okay, here we go. So it's creamy. I'm going to turn it up a little bit. Oh, you know what, Galen? One more thing while we keep going. Try the refrigerator. Yeah, that's it. Why are you throwing it to me? Okay, we're clean. Our hands are clean. I'm going to just grab it out because I know about how much I dropped on the floor. That's about that much. Are y'all having fun now? Okay. See, that's perfect. All right. You found it. Okay. How come when you're waiting and somebody's on a camera, this feels like it takes forever? Anybody know? I hope y'all are commenting because um, I'll come back and answer your questions when this is all over. And if you have questions about what to do if you don't have one of these, because I burned up a mixer when I was making these for Brandon's um, rehearsal dinner, Brandon Blaney's, I burned up a regular mixer doing this because I didn't have what I needed. Okay, so next, we're going to add, what are you doing? You're not supposed to eat the ingredients. ingredients. We're gonna add the two eggs. Can you crack those and add them? Are you, do you know what, okay, you're touching the stuff. Okay, I'm gonna turn it off, crack it and add an egg. Okay, you got it? That's very scary. That's very good. You did good. Okay. Again, go again. We're going to add the eggs and beat on medium speed until just incorporated, about 30 seconds. You know, you got it on 30 seconds? Can you, can you, can you time me? 30 seconds. Got it. Count. Got it. Okay. What else would you like to tell people about? Um. What are you doing? On your, chips are good. What are you doing? What are you doing while we quarantine? <laughs> Eat Eating a lot of food. <laughs> we, lots of we have cooked have a an lot. Exercise in three weeks. We have an exercise. We walk around the block, but it's not the same. Okay, so after the eggs, we're going to turn the mixer off and add cake flour and the all-purpose flour. So that's cake flour. Hang on, give me just a few. Has it been 30 seconds? No. Yes. Okay. Okay, so we're gonna put the flour in. So I didn't realize, so this is cake flour. So cake flour has less protein in it than all-purpose flour. All-purpose flour is just what it says, it's all-purpose. And cake flour has less density, it's a weaker flour. I did not know that, I Googled that because I had no idea that that was such a thing. And so this is all-purpose. And I'll, again, I'll put the recipe on there so we don't have to talk about ingredients. And then also, we have, we have baking powder, baking soda, and some sea salt in here ready to go, and we'll mix all these ingredients together. And we're almost done, actually, I think. We'll get them, well, not really, but we'll just act like it. I can hear you crunching in my ear. It's really good. Good, great. Okay, so now we're gonna turn, we added the cake flour, and we're gonna pulse on low <laughs> until ingredients are mixed together. Got it? Got it. I'm doing it, Don't nothing. The next thing's gonna be the nuts. Now, the real recipe calls for walnuts, but I don't like walnuts. They make my tongue hurt. So I do pecans. And my pecans come from uh, Mobile, Alabama, actually. So they're good southern fresh pecans. I get them and put them in the freezer. This is almost mixed together. What's your favorite, what's your favorite dessert? 
these cookies. <laughs> That's so cool. It is. So we're going to turn um, turn the mixer off. We're going to add the nuts and we're going to pulse it a little bit. Now this is two cups of pecans. That's a lot, isn't it? But so if you don't like nuts, you can. I'll I'll um, post this for you. If you don't like nuts at all or can't have them, you could always. Um, uh, take the nuts out, you'll have to add extra flour so that they'll stay, they'll stay thick and tall and they won't go flat. But, if, but I really like pecans, um, but no walnuts for me. But it calls for walnuts. If you'd rather have walnuts, do walnuts. Okay, so there's the pecans. And then we're gonna add the chocolate chips, two cups of semi-sweet chocolate chips. Please tell me we have every ingredient. Oh, good. I love it when a plan comes together. Okay, so we're gonna do this real so we don't knock chocolate chips on the floor. I can't believe I dumped out brown sugar on the floor. It's pretty good. It's good. What have you been doing today? Cleaning, cleaning the house. house. <laughs> we had to clean our house because y'all were coming over to watch me on this video. Okay, so now what we're going to do is move that. We're, this is all clean and Lysoled off my, um, my bar. So what we're going to do is take this out and get get it off this paddle. Okay, that goes in the sink. And then, this goes here. So this goes on the, you wanna, uh, hello, we have some dirty dishes. I'm working on it. There, I mean, you, I hire you for one thing, and you can't get your job. Okay, so we're gonna put this together on the bar so we can put these rest of these ingredients together, like the, um, the chocolate chips and the pecans and kind of get it all together like this. So this only makes eight cookies. Eight cookies, they're massive. They're six ounce cookies, can you believe it? So you really should only have one a person uh, because these are probably not great for you, but we're quarantined. I have heard, I saw on Facebook that they're calling it hashtag quarantine 15. So I just hope we don't all gain 15 pounds. Do you think you're gonna gain? Uh, absolutely. I have actually lost three pounds, maybe four I now. I don't, I don't really know what, unless you're sneaking in here and eating. Well, we're, okay, yeah, there that's, we that's go. I kind of, I made two pies last night and I know he's eaten most of that. Okay, so here we go. We're gonna make these into eight. Are your hands clean? Okay, and then grab the um, Baker's Joy and then we'll spray that and we'll get these going. So um, again, if you have questions, write them in the comments because I wanna answer them. These are fun. Hey, I'm all for Pillsbury um, Slice and Bake because I think those are easy and fun to have with kids because dessert just makes you feel better. But these are gonna be so good. Doesn't that look amazing? Is that, is that right? That's fine. That's good. Stop. Okay, sorry, sorry. okay, here we go. Eight, you wanna help? No, go ahead, go ahead. No, you're doing so good, but we're gonna have to make them the same size. And then we'll have to maybe take some from one and put it back in the other. Okay, eight cookies. Look how, look at this. That's a size. That is a massive of one of the cookie. cookies. Okay, so wait now. You're, you're going to have to calm down. Take your time. We're showing that people looks, what to that do. That looks great. It's so good. Okay, That's so it's going to make eight. Is that too big? Well, that one's probably too small. I'm going to go three. Two. Okay, that's five. Is that five? No, five, we, six. We have to get three more out of this. I can't count. One, two, three, four, five, six. How many, how many we need eight, so we're gonna have to take pieces off. We're sorry, live television, you know. There you go. Okay, that's not big enough. Okay, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven. Okay, that's eight. Mm -hmm. Okay, well, here, there you go. Now make them. So you don't want them to be perfect. You want them to be kind of messed up. Can you get those extra things off? Because we don't want those there. They all need to be the same size. Because I'm gonna cook these for 12 minutes exactly. 12 minutes exactly. So once you do all this, it's really not that hard. It seems harder to me in my head, but when you make 12 dozen, it's a big ordeal. I do know this, don't double the recipe and try to do it with a regular mixer. That's what I did and I burned up my mixer. You probably could do it in, with a KitchenAid, but don't double it for your regular mixer. So the magic of television is so amazing. So honey, put these in right, and watch how fast, now they're gonna cook for 12 minutes, but just like all the cooking experts, you know, Martha Stewart and Paula Dean, we've already made some and we'll show you what they look like. Are we ready? We're ready. Just don't get inside my oven, it's, it's sturdy. So one of the things I'm gonna do while we're on this break is clean my ovens. Wow, those do look okay, good. Okay, there we go. Ooh. There's Levin Bakery copycat cookies. They are so good, you guys. I can't, I'm telling you, my house smells amazing, and I 
So look how big they are. Six ounces is where they start. Are you just gonna, you can't do that. Let's just cut one. Okay. Now tell me what you think. I'm so excited. Oh gosh. Those are amazing. Oh that, gosh. That is, that is incredible. It's so good. Good job. We, we haven't had lunch, so everything's that good. That is really good. Mm. We have camera guys here, and Marion's here, so we're gonna let them have a cookie too, because they came and did this for us. Do I have chocolate on my face? Nope, you're good. Okay, so put your questions on the comments. And it, I had a good time, I hope you did. And who knows, maybe we'll show up again one day during our, um, our time off for whatever we're doing right now. I nothing. can't believe it. Nothing. God bless you guys. We're praying for everybody that's watching. Yeah, we, we miss are. you so much. Absolutely. We wish we could see you in person. We really do miss everybody. God bless Love and have a guys. great Saturday.